Ladies and gentlemen, Raila Odinga is in trouble. And I mean very, very big trouble. I was wondering, why should Raila Odinga lie to the African Union heads of states? The African Union leaders. Because he was captured red-handed while he was campaigning for the African Union Commission top job. And what exactly do you think would be the reaction of the African Union heads of states concerning Raila Odinga's statements? Raila Odinga's message can cause very, very serious consequences. Because here in Kenya, for example, when Raila Odinga was campaigning for the 2022 presidential bid. I remember very well that Raila Odinga also mentioned something, something that raised a lot of questions, very, very serious questions that even Raila Odinga himself could not answer. Raila Odinga said this, that if he will be elected to be the president of the Republic of Kenya. All Kenyans who don't have jobs, unemployed Kenyans, right? And the families that are poor will be earning 6,000 shillings every month. Money that will be provided by his administration. I mean, that was a lie, a very, very big lie because with the current situation of the economy and the numbers of Kenyans, millions and millions of Kenyans who are unemployed, that is not possible. And Kenyans were asking Raila Odinga, where exactly will you get the money? Raila Odinga could not answer that particular question. The only thing that Raila Odinga said while responding to those questions is that he knows, he understands where the money is. So the same thing has also happened. Raila Odinga has messed up again in the African Union Commission during his campaigns. Before I read for you Raila Odinga's message, just a quick reminder that if you are listening to me at this point and you haven't subscribed, I'm requesting you to please just take a second or two and subscribe to this channel. You can also give this video a like. Just press the thumbs up button down below so that YouTube can automatically recommend this channel and this video in particular to reach out to others. Because the only way that we can improve on this channel to grow is by subscribing. I don't take the support for granted. To those who have already subscribed, I really, really appreciate. Now, let me read for you this statement by Raila Odinga. He says that, It is my hope that as the chairman of the African Union Commission, I will help the continent to embark on long deferred dreams, including making River Nile navigable and also connecting the Atlantic Ocean and Lake Victoria, Lake Tanganyika water bodies to facilitate efficient logistics in the interior. I need someone to explain to me in the comment section down below. How is that possible? Is it possible what Raila Odinga has just talked about? Let me read for you once again. Raila Odinga says that if he will be elected to be the chairman of the African Union Commission, what he will do is this. He will embark on long deferred dreams, including making River Nile navigable. Is it possible to make River Nile navigable? 
and also to connect the Atlantic Ocean. Do you know where Atlantic Ocean is? So Raila Odinga is saying that he will connect Atlantic Ocean to Lake Victoria. Is that possible? Even if it is possible, how long will it take? So number one, to avoid such kind of embarrassments, Raila Odinga must look for political experts. Political experts who will write for Raila Odinga a decent manifesto. A manifesto that will clearly relate well with the people of Africa and the leaders. Raila Odinga should be talking about women empowerment. Raila Odinga should be talking about how to eradicate poverty in Africa. Also agriculture. Raila Odinga should be talking about climate change. Such issues that relate well with the needs of Africans. Not to talk about how he will connect Atlantic Ocean to Lake Victoria. How will that help? Such kind of issues are not possible. Number two, Raila Odinga should be very careful and to avoid lies during his AUC campaigns. Raila Odinga must avoid lying. Raila Odinga must completely avoid lying to the African leaders. He should be very, very careful in everything that he says. He must be sure about it. Because by the end of every statement that Raila Odinga will issue, African leaders will demand others and it will be very, very embarrassing if Raila Odinga will not be in a position to provide answers. Like for example, in this statement, people can ask how exactly will Raila Odinga connect Atlantic Ocean to Lake Victoria and how long will it take and what exactly will be the benefits and finally, Raila Odinga must learn from William Ruto. Raila Odinga must be a good debater. Debating is very, very important. Such that Raila Odinga can say something and defend it, argue with points to become the reality. Have you ever listened to how William Ruto is a good debater? William Ruto can say something and prove the points such that it becomes a reality. That is how it should be. But unfortunately, very unfortunate, that Raila Odinga is not a good debater. For you to compete against your political competitors, you must be a very good competitor. So let us wait and see how things will turn out to be. That is it. I don't know what you think. I would also want to know your thoughts and your opinions in the comment section down below concerning Raila Odinga's statements, if it is actually possible for Raila Odinga to connect Atlantic Ocean to Lake Victoria. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Let me see you again in my next video analysis. My name is Jason. Bye-bye and have a good night.